been cheated. When you need help, she's on your side. Better call Bacon. It is green. It is unsightly. And those living around a Sarasota lake owned by the county are fed up. Neighbors are getting nowhere bugging the county about this problem, so they knew they'd better call Benkin. And investigator Shannon Benkin here now to show us how all this played out today. This has been going on a while. It has, and the pictures, they're pretty dramatic, but even the pictures don't really show how bad this looks in person. Residents have been getting excuse after excuse, and even though the county has kept other lakes looking pristine, they say they have just ignored theirs. But changed, things changed very quickly right after I got involved. If you look at it, it's there's not hardly one patch of blue water anymore. Steve Herrick used to enjoy the view and the wildlife right in his backyard at Lake Crane in Sarasota. But now it's so green, you can't tell where the grass stops and the water begins. Uh, there's even otters in this lake. I don't see the otters anymore. And it's not going to go away by itself. Steve and others who live around this county-owned lake have begged officials for help for months. But this green stuff called duckweed just keeps growing. And it's not only the people dealing with this. Turtles tried to get in on our interview, too. But you can hardly even see them. I know. Maybe we'll get some help. Maybe the county will have mercy upon you. The county used to spray periodically, and that kept the weeds away. But then they stopped showing up, and residents couldn't get a straight answer. What's it like looking out at this? It's terrible. It's like a, it's a depleting feeling, especially knowing how it used to be. And it was a pristine lake, and the ducks were here, and the fish were not floating to the surface. Fed up with the county, they yeah, called me. See I see you on TV helping community folks that just can't get things done on their own, dealing with your bureaucracy or the... Uh, you know, the power figures out there, and we just wanted, I just wanted to get this done. With sweet talking like that, I decided to make some calls. Hi, this is Shannon Bankin at News Channel 8. I am sitting in front of a very green lake. Lake. I had plenty to say, but since a picture is worth a thousand words, I thought this might work faster. And it did work. A county spokesman called me back this afternoon to say Lake Crane will be treated this Saturday. I just left this good news on the homeowner's voicemail, and I know he'll be very thrilled when he gets home and gets that message. Yeah, tonight. Steve giving you a sweet talk, and it worked pretty well. You it's did. like the creature from the blue lagoon or the I, black lagoon I or the green so lagoon is going to come out. that little turtle. Uh, but uh, any explanation for why the county stopped spring so that it resulted in this? Well, I asked the county that, and they said that they do this only on a need be basis, not just just because it looks ugly. They say that when they went out in the springtime, they didn't think it needed it, but after we sent those pictures and they got a better look at it, they admit it needs it now, and so they will be out there on Saturday. All right, mm -hmm. sounds good. Well done. Job done in a day. Thank you, yeah. Shannon. If you have a problem you think needs solving, you better call Binkin. The telephone number on your screen right now, 1-855-BINKIN.